Hello guys, uh, it's your buddy, MLC Stealth, and uh, today we have a search and destroy on Underpass. Um, I've been playing a lot of search lately, and by that I mean I was playing search and destroy for about uh, five or six hours tonight. Uh, me and my party just got done playing, it's 2.15 in the morning. And for some reason it seems like during that session of uh, gaming, I, I seem to have lost my voice and my throat is a little sore. So if my voice sounds a little different than it usually does, I apologize for that. I'm a little sick. I think so. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I'm sitting here on my bed by myself with my dog right next to me, and it's just me in the house. My parents, uh, I'm 18. I'm just living with my parents, uh, because it's cheaper instead of moving out for college. Um, but my parents went away for a week or whatever because they're picking up my sister and my brother-in-law from their honeymoon and they're taking them to the airport etc etc so they're they're doing parent things so I'm just sitting here in the house by myself at uh, 2 two fifteen in the morning and I'm a little scared um, one of my biggest fears is uh, just like nighttime like the darkness uh, being alone stuff like that um, after seeing all these, like, scary movies, like, The Grudge, The Ring, Paranormal Activity, just all these thoughts get into my head about, like, how scary everything is. Like, I'm not, like, a little girl or anything, but after the first night of seeing Paranormal Activity, I had to, uh, sleep in my parents' room, because I couldn't sit by myself without thinking of, like, scary thoughts. And uh, then after the first few nights, I could safely go back into my room by myself. Uh, but I had to turn the lights on and blast the TV. And right now it's at the point where I, I there was a phase where, like a few months ago, where I could turn the TV, turn the lights off, everything, and just go to bed normally. But lately I've had to just keep the TV on again. Because when I turn it off and silence is upon me, then... I start thinking of all the scary that could happen and it's just like imagining someone could be standing right next to me or maybe the grudge is happening. Right here I uh, actually tried going for a ninja defuse and I was just gonna defuse or walk up right next to him when he's planning and then defuse it as he runs away but he planted a claymore and it kills him. So that's pretty funny because uh, he planted a claymore right next to him. I ran right next to him uh, and then it set it off and he killed himself with it right after he planted. So I got a nice defuse. Um, but yeah, when I, I have to sleep with the TV on <laughs> right now, and it really doesn't matter what channel it is, but it's usually uh, Nick at Night. I'm watching like Everybody Hates Chris or something like that. And that's a pretty funny show. Um, I like it. There's just I watch other uh, Nick and Night shows, like George Lopez occasionally. It seems like he's getting a little less funny, though, like, the more I watch him, but that's not really that big of a deal. I still like that show a little bit. Um, they used to show Home Improvement, but they haven't really been showing Home Improvement lately on Nick and Night. Um, what else do I watch on Nick and Night? Uh, I'm going to scroll through Nick Get Night right now on my TV and look. It's channel 250 for me. Um... Family Matters, The Nanny, Cosby Show. No, I don't like any of them. So I guess right now, just like, Everybody Hates Chris and George... Oh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. They haven't really shown that lately, though. Um, speaking of TV shows, uh, on ABC Family, do you know how, uh... Like, they stopped showing Boy Meets World on ABC Family. They haven't shown that in a while, but instead they think it's a better idea to show shows like Sister Sister, which kind of blows my mind. Because I, I don't like that show. <laughs> it's not really that great. Boy Meets World is so much better. Um, but yeah, my dog's kind of just sitting here sleeping right now. She's nice. She's uh, brown and tiny, Good even though she's like 13. Uh, but me and my friend Cheesy Poof have been... Uh, <laughs> we've been getting ninja defuses. I don't know how that didn't kill him. This single model is terrible. It has a... Uh, like, <laughs> it's so much worse than the Spaz-12. Like, Spaz-12 gets more one-hit kills and has more range, and it takes less time to, uh, cock the under-barrel thing. Like, it's re it's retarded. That the single model is 
not better in any way than the Spaz 12 is. And, uh, yeah, me and Cheesy Poof have been, like, ninja defusing lately, and it's really fun, too. We just put on Cold Blooded, uh, go next to, I, I, like, I would go to A and he would go to B, and we just sit next to the bomb site and tap Y repeatedly. They would go plant the bomb, we would defuse it, and laugh at the other team as they were all confused. Um, for, yeah, right now it's kind of, uh, I see that guy, like, hop on A, and... He's trying to get on top of it. Uh, then once he finally does get on top of it, I just shoot him, and we know exactly where the bomb is. We actually lose this round, though, um, which is kind of good because I got to get more kills uh, to make the game more entertaining. But uh, what was it? I don't know. But it's kind of eerie right now. Just eerie right now. Just sitting in in uh, this houseless house because I don't know. Some people are afraid of, like, spiders or death or getting hit by a car when they're walking on a street. But I'm scared of, like, silence like this. It's, it's very spooky. Um, yeah, that's why I really don't want to see, like, Paranormal Activity 2 or, like, The Last Exorcist or Last Exorcism when it comes out. I'm starting to get goosebumps right now just thinking about it. Um, just because, like, putting those thoughts in your head... That's what makes you, like, think about it. Like, if I was never presented with all this scary stuff, then obviously I wouldn't have these thoughts and be afraid. Um, that guy's just eating my bullets, so it's not very nice of him. I probably should've just, like, sat here and not even tried to do anything, because... Oh, well. Um, he ends up killing me, because I try to blindly rush him. But, I do, I do have a question for... You guys, um, most of my videos have been, uh, I, I don't know if they've been entertaining to you, but I kind of just post if I get a good score, but post in the comment section, like, if you want me to use, like, a certain gun, certain perks, if you want me to play a certain game type, because I'm happy doing whatever, I'm 10th prestige, because I played this game for 21 days, so I really don't care what I do, because I'm not really playing for stats anymore. Even though I just got my kill death up to uh, 2. My kill death would be a lot higher than 2 if I didn't have this darn 1000 uh, headshots for my MP5K. Because this gun is... It's only good in search and destroy when people don't respond because... <laughs> I don't know, this gun is not good outside of search. That's what I think anyway. It's kind of difficult to use. Why would you use this when you can use like any assault rifle or... Because this is really the only game type where you, like, are forced to move around, like, a lot. And getting to good positions with this gun is very helpful because it's the fastest killing close range gun. And that's a good statistic. That's a good statistic to have for a weapon. But yeah, I, I really don't care what I do with this game, so just leave comments below saying what it is you want me to do. And then after you leave that comment, either in the same comment or a different comment, I heard that guy with my turtle beaches, because I like the sound horror, and he doesn't have a ninja on, so I just hear him coming around the corner. Um. So yeah, <coughs> my voice is not doing good right now. I have no idea why. Maybe it's because I do like one or two commentaries a day. Anyways, uh, also in the comment section, tell me what your uh, greatest fear is. Michael Scott's greatest fear is, uh, Ryan answered the fear of being alone, but Dwight said he would have also accepted, I don't re really remember, uh, it was the episode of The Office where, uh, Dwight took Ryan on his first, like, sales call, but instead of a sales call, he kind of just, like, left him out, like, on the farm, and then Ryan walked to Dwight's farm, and then he was trained a little more by Dwight, but, I don't know. I'm kind of just rambling. The Office is my favorite show. Um, <clears throat> my favorite show used to be Heroes, but it's not my favorite anymore because uh, they decided that Heroes wasn't getting enough views, so they canceled it, which made me very sad. Um, Heroes was... Uh, like It annoys me that they have shows like Jersey Shore and not Heroes anymore. I think that was a dumb idea to cancel Heroes. Probably not, though, because 
it it really wasn't getting the views that it should have but it annoys me that it wasn't getting the views that it should have because it's such a good show and scrubs uh with zach braff yeah that's his name um they should have canceled scrubs or just stopped recording after uh, zach braff left the uh the show because it it did not do good with him not being there because his like constant monologue throughout the show is what made it like awesome and when he left it just wasn't funny anymore and i stopped watching but anyways uh that's the game 16 and 1 uh search and destroy so if you guys liked it please uh, comment below and you guys have a great day